happy Wednesday. I hope everyone's having a great week so far. Um, today, if you can tell, I don't know if you can tell, I have towels set up. I have my shampoo set up because I'm going to give the boys a bath. They are stinky. <laughs> I think the last time they had a full bath was about a week and a half ago. Excuse if you can hear some squeaking going on. Um, the boys are out in the front room playing. Um, it's been kind of damp, then sunny, damp, then sunny. And if you know, my boys are outside playing all the time. They're rolling in the grass. They're rolling in stinky smells, and they just smell terrible. So I'm going to give them all baths today and wash all their bedding and get everything smelling nice. <laughs> but I'm on here today because I um, was contacted by a company out of Austin, Texas. And the name of the company, and I'm sorry if I... Um, Butcher the name of the company. I'm gonna put it right here, pop it up on the screen. I'm gonna say it's called Bodhi, Bodhi Dog Products. I'm not sure, I'm not sure. So right here is how you uh, spell the name of the company. Um, they sent me a tear stain remover to try. And they also sent me uh, this doggy breath spray to try out. Um, what's nice about their company is, let me put on my reading glasses while I have sunglasses on top of my head. <laughs> what's nice about their company is they are, um, all natural, they're made out of all natural products. Um, this doggy breast spray says it's made with spearmint and cloves. Um, on the back it says spearmint extract, cinnamon, honey, and minerals. Uh, it says it instantly freshens breath, promotes healthy teeth and gums reduces risk of gum disease, um, no brushing needed with this product, it's a natural based formula, uh, and alcohol free. So it's made in the USA, animal cruelty free, eco friendly, and natural. And then this tear stain remover um, is made from lemongrass oil, lavender oil, and hydrogen peroxide says it treats and prevents tear, saliva, and mucus stains. Um, on the back here it says, safer for sensitive skin, it's alcohol free, no parabens, no MEA or DEA, it's plant-based. Uh, also made in the USA, animal cruelty free, eco-friendly and natural. Um, so I thought I'd try these out today with Milo because Milo um, is, oh, I'm backlit. Okay, here we go. <laughs> um, Milo is the only one of my boys who has a problem with tear staining. And I have tried another product. It was about maybe five months ago, and I saw no results. So I thought today, before I give Milo his bath, I would use the tear stain remover, give him a bath, and then spray his gum and in his mouth uh, with the doggy breast spray. Um, and then I thought I would give, cause I'm not going to see any real results in one day. So I thought I would, um, start it out today using it and then maybe either weekly or bi-weekly, not sure yet how I'll do the, um, updates, but either weekly or bi-weekly, I will give you an update on how I think the product is working. So let me grab Milo and we will, uh, try out this tear stain remover. All right. I'll be right back. All right, so Milo's very unhappy. <laughs> so you can see Milo has some tear staining here on his fur under his eyes. And he is a mess, he's a dirty mess. It was very dewy out this morning. Uh, the ground was very wet, so his face is all wet <laughs> from sniffing every blade of grass, isn't it? Okay, so let's read the directions on this uh, tear stain remover. And let me show it to you again. I know I was backlit a little bit in that last clip. Um, it says, apply solution on a cotton ball or a clean towel to moisten. Um, taking care not to come in contact with the pet's eyes, gently work solution into stained areas for a few minutes at a time. Um, rub in direction away from the pet's eyes. Next, apply water to a clean cotton ball or a towel and wipe down eye area. Use daily until stained area has grown out, then weekly to prevent future staining and buildup. Okay, 
Let's see if this has a little, nope. I thought maybe it had a little plastic thing on the top, but it doesn't. Looks like you just twist it open. I got some cotton balls here. What am I doing to you, huh? What am I doing to you? Oh, do I have to poke this? Well, it's not coming out. Is there something in the lid? Oh, <laughs> might help if I take this out. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness gracious. Hold on guys, let me get this out. Okay, that may help. <laughs> I knew there had to be something in there to make it not drip. Okay, now this may work better. <laughs> I just wanna also let you know that this company just sent me this product to try out and to do an honest review. I'm not getting paid for this. Um, so just wanted to put that out there as well. Okay, I think that's enough on the cotton ball. And that says to work away from the eye for a couple minutes. So I'm gonna speed this video up um, until I'm done. Okay, so I worked that in for a couple minutes, and I I wonder if like a little baby toothbrush would um, work better than um, a cotton ball, kind of brushing down on the product uh, to get it into the hair better, because I was using my finger to kind of work it in as well. So I'm wondering if I should get a little baby toothbrush to kind of just kind of stroke down to get it through the hair better. Um, I may pick that up when I go to the store, so the next time I use it. Um, now, it says to use a clean cotton ball to get it off, but since I'm giving them a bath, I'm just gonna rinse it with water. Since I want his whole beard wet soon anyway, so I'm just gonna hold his head down and use my sprayer just on a light spray to rinse that off. Like I said, you're not gonna see, oh, I think I need a little bit more of a drip than that. <laughs> you're not gonna see results immediately. And I did notice um, on the cotton ball, there is some dirt that came off. Um, I can't tell, let me get a cotton ball. And kind of wipe where the product was. He doesn't really get um, bad um, eye boogers by his eye. Um, it's just his tear his uh, tear ducts just they they stain his fur. He has some leakage, I guess you would say. But he doesn't really get the um, eye booger build up like some of my boys do. Um, it does look like it's getting a little bit of dirt off so like i said i'll do a um maybe i'll do a weekly update on how i think um this product's working um just kind of in some of my other videos i'll just kind of give an update um on how it's doing so i'm going to wash this boy wash his whole body and then i'll come back when i spray the doggy breath spray uh, in his mouth. Be right back. All right, Milo is all cleaned up and smelling nice. Yes, you're smelling nice. <laughs> okay, so, and who knows how long it'll last. Probably by tonight, he'll probably be stinky again. Okay, so I'm gonna spray this doggy 
I'm sorry guys, my windows are so, oh here we go, doggy brush spray uh, in Milo's mouth. Um, it says, directions, gently pull back your furry friend's lips and cheeks to expose gums. Spray liberally in both sides of mouth, being sure to coat teeth and gums. Use daily to maintain fresh breath, control tartar and plaque, and reduce the risk of gum disease. Okay, I don't know if I got a sheet on it. There's probably a, let's see if there's a thing on this one. Let's see, I don't think so. I don't know if I gotta shake it or not. <laughs> I always shake everything. Let me start, let me, I'm just kinda, there we go. Okay, I squirted it in the sink a couple times to kinda prep it. Okay, so I've never used a dental spray on Milo before, so I don't know how he's gonna react to this. <laughs> Let's see, we will find out together. All right, Milo, so it says lift the gums. Spray liberally on both sides. Okay, there's one side. Sorry, my hand's gonna be in the way on this side. Let's do the front. How was that, Milo? Not too bad? Not too bad. Milo has the worst breath out of everyone. <laughs> this dog eats everything outside. He just has stinky breath. It has nothing to do with his teeth being bad or anything. He just had bad, has bad breath. So, okay, we got that sprayed in there. Let's smell your breath. <laughs> Let's see if you have minty breath. Ooh. Ooh, I won't, I won't mind you being so close to my face anymore. Has a slight mint uh, smell to it. Yeah, I won't mind you kissing me anymore. No, I won't. He didn't seem to mind the spray either or the taste. So, all right, this works pretty good here. This works pretty good. Your breath smells fresh, at least for a little bit. Okay, guys, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm all done giving my love bath. He's already outside with the other boys, rolling in the grass and getting stinky again. <laughs> so I just wanted to come on and let you guys know that I'm gonna put this uh, company's website in the description box below. They have a lot of different products you can check out on their website. I'm also going to put an Amazon affiliate link for the doggy breath spray, which made Myla's breath. Uh, smell really good compared to what it smells like um, it won't be so bad having his face right up in my face now um, and then I'll also put an Amazon affiliate link for the tear stain remover and like I said I'm gonna do kind of a weekly update to let you guys know how I think this is working um, so I'll put a link for that too so you guys can read all the other uh, customer customer reviews of people who have purchased these products okay so I will see you on Friday in our next video. And in Friday's video, I'm gonna let you know about a special guest that we have coming to visit our home this weekend. So stay tuned for that video. We'll talk to you guys later. Have a great rest of your week. Bye.